We are here at the Callum Science Centre. We are in the control room of the Joint European Taurus uh, Experimental Reactor and we are doing experiments trying to improve and solve key technological questions relating to fusion physics and to fusion science so as to make fusion possible energy for the future. How fusion works is basically we try to heat up matter to very high temperatures to allow the particles in this matter to interact with one another and to produce extra energy. We're trying to do this with a machine called the Tokamak, which basically uses very strong magnetic fields to contain this matter and to try to create as better confinement properties as possible. If you were to go inside the Tokamak, what you would see is a donut-shaped vacuum vessel, which has a very, very high vacuum, typically of the order of 10 to the minus 8 millibar. In order for it to start operating, first we need to start very strong magnetic fields. Then we put in some gas inside, and then we make what is called the plasma. And then we use various methods to heat it up very, in, to very high temperatures. Typically temperatures reaching 150 million degrees Celsius. You wouldn't see that much because everything is covered by a lot of machinery. You will see magnets, you would see a lot of diagnostics which measure various things, you would see vacuum vessels, you would see a lot of pumps and so on. But the important thing is that at the heart of this machine, there's very, this very large donut set vessel where all the action happens. The most successful moment in Jet came in 1997 where we broke the fusion record and which is still which still holds today basically. This was a, we, ma we managed to make 16 megawatts of fusion power which is it's not yet break even which we would need to put the same amount of energy that we put in to take it out but it was 60% of the energy that we put in, we managed to take it out. This is the world record that, which we did here at Jet, and it still holds today. There are a lot of very other significant achievements that we have had here at Jet. One of them, for example, is the testing of materials that we do for the next generation reactors. For the moment, we have a key set of experiments that is going to happen in the next five years. With this, we're going to do what is called the DT campaign, for which we're going to try to aim to break again the fusion record. We are basically focusing on these experiments that are in the next five years, but after that, it is difficult to say what the future will be.